The distance formula can be used to find the distance between two points if we know their coordinates. If this first point has coordinates x1, y1, and the second point has coordinates x2, y2, then the distance between them is given by the formula the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. This formula actually comes from the Pythagorean theorem. Let me draw a right triangle with these two points as two of its vertices. Then the length of this side is the difference between the two x-coordinates. Similarly, the length of this vertical side is the difference between the two y-coordinates. Now the Pythagorean theorem says that for any right triangle with sides labeled a and b and hypotenuse labeled c, we have that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, if we apply that to this triangle here, this hypotenuse is the distance between the two points that we're looking for. So Pythagorean theorem says the square of this side length, that is x2 minus x1 squared, plus the square of this side length, which is y2 minus y1 squared, has to equal the square of the hypotenuse, that is d squared. Taking the square root of both sides of this equation, we get the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared is equal to d. We don't have to worry about using plus or minus signs when we take the square root because distance is always positive. So we've derived our distance formula. Now let's use it in an example. Let's find the distance between the two points negative 1, 5, so negative 1, 5, maybe over here, and 4, 2. This notation just means that P is the point with coordinates negative 1, 5, and Q is the point with coordinates 4, 2. We have the distance formula. Let's think of P being the point with coordinates x1, y1, and q being the point with coordinates x2, y2. But as we'll see, it really doesn't matter which one is which. Plugging into our formula, we get d is the square root of x2 minus x1. So that's 4 minus negative 1 squared. And then we add y2 minus y1, so that's 2 minus 5 squared. Working out the arithmetic a little bit, 4 minus negative 1, that's 4 plus 1, or 5 squared, plus negative 3 squared, so that's the square root of 25 plus 9, or the square root of 34. Let's see what would have happened if we'd called this first point x2, y2 instead, and the second point, x1, y1. Then we would have gotten the same distance formula, but we would have taken negative 1 minus 4 and added the difference of y squared, so that's y2, 5 minus 2 squared. So that gives us the square root of negative 5 squared plus 3 squared, which works out to the same thing. In this video, we use the distance formula to find the distance between two points. When writing down the distance formula, sometimes students forget whether this is a plus or a minus and whether these are pluses or minuses. One way to remember is to think that the distance formula comes from the Pythagorean theorem. That's why there's a plus in here and then a minus in here because we're finding the difference between the coordinates to find the lengths of the sides.